this is the base of the uh, rabbit hutch that I'm building laid out. It's uh, two two by fours that are. Um, I've got it so that the cross boards go about 30 inches. So it's going to be 30 by 36 uh, is the squares that you're going to make all the way down through there. So after you get the bottom base built and screwed together, the next thing you do is you put your hardware cloth down. Uh, 36 inch hardware cloth, just center it and staple it all the way around. Next, you're going to cut eight 36 inch long 2x2s and eight 21 inch long 2x2s. These are going to be the basis for the frames that attach to the uh, base that creates your end pieces and also your dividers in the cage. So I have the dividers assembled now. Basically, it's just one screw. Uh, to hold all four pieces together. Uh, you can pre-drill the holes to keep it from splitting, but I don't really worry about it too much because next we're going to put hardware wire uh, on each frame, which is going to help to hold it together. But there's also going to be trim pieces um, that go over it that's also going to hold it better together a lot better. So... Uh, it's up to you whether or not you want to pre-drill the holes or not. The four frames are now done, and now we're going to screw them onto the base. So the next thing you want to do is square up the back and we're going to use a temporary board which I've just got a 2x2, two two. you can use a 2x4 or whatever. So we're going to square up each frame to the back and use that temporary board to hold it in place. The next thing you're going to do is add the hardware wire to the back. Personally, I think that it's easier to uh, turn the frame and base so that the front is on the ground. Then that makes the wire easier to stretch out. Also, I'm using a 36 inch hardware wire for the uh, back. Um, I did that because uh, 24 inch isn't going to be quite wide enough so that's why I'm doing that you'll see when I get over the end here what I'm talking about
you uh, don't have to go too crazy with the staples because the the whole back and sides and front and everything is going to be trimmed out with another layer of wood. So uh, mostly just enough staples to hold everything in place till you get the trim pieces on. Next, you put your top header on the back. So that would be like where the back meets the roof line at. You put a full two before. Just screw it down so that it's level with the top of the frame. Once you have that done, you cut two legs, um, or you could do three. Uh, two legs is going to be easier. One leg on each end. About 57 and a half inches tall will give you a four to five foot chicken coop. So just to kind of show you what I did here, you can kind of see that I've got the top board, I've got the leg, I've got this bottom board, and now I'm cutting out the one here for the middle pieces. So the top board goes all the way out to the edge. Then you put the two legs on, flush with the edge. And the bottom board fits up against the legs. See there. And then basically you just measure and cut for the center two out of the scraps from the uh, two legs. After you get the back framed in, you're basically going to flip the front over and do it the same way. So we're going to put our temporary board in place, get it squared up on this side. Then we're going to run a top header, um, the legs and the, the front legs, the bottom header, and then the two center pieces. And then in that hole that's left over, we'll put the doors. Okay, folks, so um, I had to skip recording the doors. There's a storm moving in. It's getting really windy. Um, I literally forgot to record it. But basically, once you get the front framed in the same way you did the back, you create another frame just like the center ones for the doors. And um, I, I literally finished up the front so fast it kind of looks a little crappy, like I've never built anything before and I've built all kinds of things. But anyway, so you basically make the top part of the door about a quarter to a half an inch less in width than the opening. And then you do the same for the bottom. And the easiest way to find the length of the edges is to lay the two cup boards down in the bottom so they're stacked up and then measure from the top of your opening to the top of the second board and that'll give you the length of the end pieces um, again you're going to leave a quarter to a half inch of a gap you can kind of see there's a gap uh, so once you get that done pre-drill the holes because you definitely don't want these to crack and put a one screw down each of the end pieces into the sides once you get that done then you basically just tack on the hardware cloth or whatever you're using um, to get it mounted inside what I usually like to do is I put the door in there and then I slide a pencil on the bottom at each end to kind of raise it up some and then I line up where my uh, hinges should go once you've got the hinges installed 
Then I put the bolt in, and then once that was done, I hung the water bottle, cut out the hole for the feeder, and hung the feeders. Um, the I still have another water bottle that's actually where I've got my rabbit set right now. So that completes the front. Once you get it framed out and the door's hung, the front is done. The very next thing you want to do, um, you could use plywood for the top or corrugated metal. I prefer to use Tough Tex, which is kind of a plastic. It's the same thing I use on my chicken coop. You can kind of see it green down there. Of course, the chickens see me out and they're going crazy. So it's like a green, it's almost like corrugated roofing, but it's plastic. And I like it better than the corrugated metal because it, it doesn't, it, doesn't um, it, it stays cooler. So it worked out really well for the chickens. Not only that, it's about a third of the cost of the corrugated metal, so you're going to save money. Um, so what I did at the top board, I put a 2x2 two two across the front. That raises the front up some. Um, this, this chicken coop's actually on a slight elevation anyways. And then what I did was I cut out um, four 4 foot 2x2s. Two Whoops, almost fell. So four four foot two by twos that'll kind of then serve as like the rafters. And like I said, it's getting ready to rain again. The storm's, storm's blowing in. So I'm going to get these done and then try to pick up putting the tough techs on.